So now then on to a midfielder who it seems to be the window of midfielders. We know a lot of teams looking for midfielders, but this is about Manuel Ugarte and his move this window. So I obviously have him in PSG colours, but let me just read out uh, the Twitter tweets that I did. So, from from what people are telling me, this deal was practically done. There was nothing else in it. So, uh, it it was Manuel Ugarte will become a Chelsea player. Deal set to be a sixty million pound release clause. A few details to be sorted with the club, which I was right about. Uh, the player did made make his mind on Chelsea, and then set to be announced after Nkunku, because we know Nkunku signed. He got a. We all, if we're being honest, we all thought he signed, and then next on the list. Uh, is Casado, so all of it's right apart from actually saying he will become a Chelsea player. Um, but then, uh, and then later on, the next day, because I was, I was one of the first people to confirm a steel soldier's foot. Uh, quoted the tweet and put one of the first people to confirm this deal, which I was. I was cyber for Fabrizio and all of these top journalists. Because there are very few contacts that I do have or ones that, you know, they, they, they are very good when they do give me information. Uh, but anyway... Uh, then, uh, last night, late on, uh, it came out that Chelsea, uh, pulling out of the race for Manuel Ugarte, uh, which was a massive surprise for me because Um, what was said from Chelsea was um, the fact that this, the the Blues, uh, Chelsea wouldn't pay the release calls, which is the only way how to get your Garte out uh, of Sporting Lisbon, uh, but. Apparently Chelsea won't pay the release calls because they believe it's a bullish market a rate which is its market price. Which for me is quite stupid but this just shows once again that Chelsea are looking for Kai Sado. That is a priority at the club. And Pochettino's came in though, he's getting rid of Mount Kovacic. Jorginho is already gone. Kante could go. And then you're starting to think we've only got Enzo Fernandez who can really start for the club. So this window for Chelsea is going to be one that's just full of midfield signings. Uh, I don't think this opens the door for a McAllister because we know Pochettino admires him as a player. I don't think it opens the door for that. And going back to Ugarte, now this is given PSG uh, a, a deal to just get done quickly. You've seen what's happened with Chelsea. They've had to pull out PSG of pound straight away. But apparently PSG have often more than Chelsea that was apparently over market rate but it was said that 
from from myself, from Fabrizio, from Fork, that this deal will be the release call. So PSG are playing a ball flat. That's just stupid. Well, the player did want to go to Chelsea. I mean, there, there's still a lot of other clubs interested, but it's a fact, will they act on it? Because it's only PSG you really have. you got to as the number one transfer target in the midfield section. We know PSG have signed Marco Asensio for the club. So... Uh, I was surprised when I saw this happening, but yeah, I mean, what can you say really? Uh, if PSG are going to pay over that release cause, pretty stupid, but are you got a no, I don't want to chinks myself after what I said the last time, but you got a should become a Chelsea player, uh, no. So who knows? But now moving on um, to.